Thanks, Jen. We have uh, well, some quiet weather right now. Temperatures are going to heat up today. We've got 90 degrees for a high. You know, last few days we've hit the mid 90s. It's felt like over 100. Today, that's not the case. It'll be a little bit cooler. 90 degrees for a high. Some upper 80s mixing in. And then next couple of days, we'll be in the upper 80s, getting back to 90 on Sunday. Uh, still above average, but better than we were. But the big cool down is going to be coming in next week, where highs will be in the low 80s. I'll talk more about that coming up. There is a cool front in the region, but notice how it's moving. It's moving more easterly and the back end is getting clipped. Bottom line is it's turning into more of a wind shift line than a cold front for us. And so we're not going to cool things down uh, dramatically today, but it will be quite a bit better. Now our temperatures at the moment are in the upper 70s. That's a good thing. We also have some clouds moving overhead. That's going to be a good thing as that will help to keep the temperatures down today. Not much rain around the region, but there's a few showers. There's a couple around southern shores in East Lake in North Carolina, and then there's also a couple sprinkles up here around uh, Middlesex County. It's literally, though, just a sprinkler, too, as it moves in, maybe uh, just touching uh, northern Gloucester County, north of Dutton. So Hampton Roads is rain free at this time, but the clouds are moving in. Now, our forecast model calls for a stray shower or two this morning through midday. We get into the afternoon, some scattered showers and thunderstorms out there between 3 and 5 o'clock. Earlier it had a kind of a bigger area of rain and it had some heavy rain too in northeast North Carolina around 630 and I still believe that can happen. I still believe we can get some heavy downpours in there uh, as that wind shift line drops south into North Carolina about between 4 and 7 o'clock and then going at 8 o'clock still some scattered showers and storms out there. Overnight we'll see partly cloudy skies and then tomorrow we've got some scattered showers and storms again in the afternoon. Pretty decent chance for some rain tomorrow as that uh, boundary just kind of hangs out over the Albemarle Sound. May lift north just a little bit, but not too much. And so there's that chance for some rain. Now, today's temperatures, we've got low 90s in the region in Elizabeth City and Edenton, 90 in Nags Head. Still going to be fairly humid, too, so it'll feel like the mid to upper 90s. Mostly cloudy skies and some scattered showers and storms out there. Near 90 for the south side, Portsmouth, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, and low 90s in Chesapeake and Suffolk. This is an improvement over yesterday. The winds are out of the west 5 to 10. Uh, upper 80s in Bacosin, that's not bad. 90 in Newport News, and this is where you're going to notice it the most. Williamsburg, 91. Yesterday, you hit 99, so there's a drop for you. And we'll be in the upper 80s in Gloucester, Irvington, and on the eastern shore. Some scattered showers forming. Now, in the Atlantic, we've got Tropical Storm Fiona. It's way over there in the eastern Atlantic, over 1,000 miles away. And it's moving off to the west-northwest, so it is going to try and uh, move closer to the island of Bermuda over the next uh, seven to eight days. But uh, it may fall apart before that point. Some of the models have it falling apart, but a lot of these models either way have it east of Bermuda. There's only a couple which take it west of Bermuda up through the time that it goes, Wednesday, 4.50 a.m. So uh, you know, we'll bring you the updates, but right now the odds are it's going to stay out to sea. So let's talk about the uh, extended forecast. We got a little bit of heat around the next couple of days, but not too bad. Upper 80s to around 90. Some scattered showers and storms at times, including over the weekend, but no washouts. But then we dry things out Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Highs will be in the low 80s there for a couple of days, maybe some upper 70s.